Milogas Logic, today is presented by Sysops. And hello, this is Chris speaking from sysops.tv. Today we are starting something. I have no idea if this would work and if this uh, will be accepted from my friends or from new friends we don't have at the moment. And just say hello to everybody who's uh, here today. And uh, yes, we have to try this in English. The problem with English being this English language in German is that uh, it's almost impossible if you have um, uh, a language like in my area here, this is where I live. My name is Chris from Schaffenburg. This is very close to Frankfurt and uh, we don't even are able to speak fluent German. So I'm uh, curious if this will work and uh, you will have fun in this show and you can follow my horrible horrible english so we call it simply if it's it's german this deutschland and it's english so we call it here it's dinglish so if you accept this is not exactly english so you can follow a little we call it dinglish and then everything would be fine and uh, <laughs> we will see we will see if this is working or not yes perhaps uh, the audience is uh, able to Uh, follow the chat here in uh, in English and uh, not in German and help me out with some vocabulary I am missing. So hello today. This is working twice a week normally in German language, uh, something like German English. We call it uh, Hessisch. <laughs> and we uh, say hello to Frank, Markus, uh, Maltolino, Mike Cox, uh, Christian K, uh, Sven, Mr. Fuchs, Eric, Dr. Animum, Johannes, Thorsten, we call him the Torrecle. I will call you. Explain later what this means. Uh, Dirk, uh, Bitmonkey and uh, another Chris K. Is this the same Chris K as before? I'm not sure. Markus, uh, Phil, sounds a little English, Maltotolino and uh, we already had the bit monkey. So at this point it's the same time and the same show as uh, every Monday and every Thursday on uh, this channel here and I'm curious if, oh, it's not okay, uh, I'm curious if, do you think this is a good idea to catch and pick up the um, English-speaking audience all over Europe, perhaps in also in Russia, they're welcome, and as well in the USA, but I'm not sure this will work live for them, but perhaps they can watch the recording and uh, have some fun and, um, yes, make our great community better. But we will see. So if you have uh, an opinion to this, you can write it in the comments here on YouTube. So... Where do we have to start? I have no idea. I want to um, catch up here and um, try to explain what we did the last amazing one and a half or two years on this channel and what I did the last 10 or 12 years. I'm Christian, I'm almost uh, 50 years old now and we're doing SysOps TV for more than 12 years and I changed a lot the last uh, eight years, ten years. Started with, so what's it called? ZFS, ZFS. So that's not possible to um, concentrate on this um, letter. So I will call it, like in German, ZFS. That's the, w the easiest way to me to pronounce. So for the English people here, it's... Um, ZFS and for the Americans is ZFS. I'm not sure if this is the correct uh, pronouncing of the letter, but I don't care uh, about it. So I will use this. When we started on Sysops TV, it was the time of great podcasting and uh, great shows on uh, iTunes. 
podcast shows and uh, I always try to make something, something with video and to talk about my business. And the more I, the more I made my shows, the small shows about everything, um, I found out and I realized that it doesn't have any meaning. So it doesn't make sense to explain a new iPhone or a small business server or um, a semantic product to the audience because it's, yeah, it's not the, the correct audience because you have to pay for it. Um, they sold those products every two years with a new vendor or with a new name, with subscription, with high subscription fees to their customers and I did not felt comfortable with it. So, um, about 13 years ago, I became sick. I had no idea what it was, but I was, there was no energy in my, my body at all. So I tried to find a solution to make my life a little easier. And the problem was when you, when you, when you are an IT professional and you have to deal with your customers, the amount of data um, increased incredible, an incredible amount. So we sold tape drives, tape libraries for an uh, incredible amount, uh, very expensive, very pricey. And people uh, put it in a leasing contract or something like this. And the problem was it was it passed one year and the, the space was too low and they were still paying for it. So we had a big problem with a growing data amount. So the problem was if I was a little sick, so it means I was very tired at the evening, had no energy, <coughs> sorry, had no energy and was really, really exhausted in the evening. I was massively and really afraid of people calling me and wanting, and they're asking me for fixing a thing in a company. So for example, if you had a broken small business server, it could take days to, re to restore the system. And to restore the system, you need the space to restore the system and you did the time. But I really wanted to go to sleep at six o'clock in the evening uh, before dinner. And it, I was really afraid of. So then I found the ZFS, ZFS, ZFS technology and um, figured out how to handle with it. At one day, uh, ZFS was yeah, grown up enough to work on any platform. Many years we used ZFS on Freenas. It's a great American product that's based on BSD with ZFS and we uh, used it at our customers. Then we found out then the, 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 the topic with the um, ransomware and the ransom Trojans um, started here in Germany and all the world. And we found out that ZFS is a great way to revert any encryption on the system. So this was great. So how to use this amazing technology Sorry, I'm a little nervous. I have to do slowly today because my English is not the best. So we'll try. So how to handle with a ransom attack? Quite easy. If you have a snapshot or automated snapshot, you always can revert to the last date without any. And there was a part with replication where you found out you can replicate the state from one place to another place. It means if one place destroyed, you have a working live replica on the second system that was great. And then we found out that we hardly wanted to have this on one system because TrueNAS, FreeNAS was a NAS or SAN means it's not the only system in the company, but we have small companies. We had to handle with small businesses, medium businesses. So we were looking for um, a system that is handling ZFS, ZFS <laughs> and it's handling the virtual machine, the virtualization at the same time that what we found. And now we are here. 
after one after another, I replaced products from commercial software to, yeah, let's call open source based software. That does not mean necessarily that's free software. If you understand that most of the software is the same and only the middleware is that what makes a difference, you will see that there is a great chance to improve yourself. Simple example, you can have uh, TrueNAS or you can install your Samba server and just uh, verify what the settings in the TrueNAS were for Samba for example and handle with those settings and do your own system. The most important thing was to, to replace Microsoft Windows and then we were trying um, software called ClearOS from the States for some years and we're happy with it. No, not happy. It, it, it was working. And then there was Zarafa, a groupware. When I decided to go away from Microsoft completely, I wanted to go with ClearOS and, and Zarafa, but I found out that this Zarafa is the meantime is Copano, a Copano in Germany, and ClearOS is not the best choice. So we ended up on Univention. We come to this later. From this point and the last two years, we found out there are many, 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 many awesome products based on open source technology, based on open source technology that <laughs> I have to, okay, I have, I have to break for a second. The comments are great. The comments are, Dr. Animum is writing, uh, writes, Chris, your English is great. That will definitely extend the audience. <laughs> Once YouTube has detected English audio, does it? Okay, we'll see. I try, I do my best. I do my best. I did not speak English for two or three years. It was Corona and all this bullshit. In earlier years, I was DJing in London and um, in Berlin, Frankfurt, so I had to use speak English a lot and for hotlines. But I don't have any, I, I don't have to have to, to uh, talk to hotlines anymore. I have, I don't have to deal with them. That's great. Um, okay, let's let's go ahead. We found out that there is a great selection of German speaking or very close to German, um, let, let me try to explain. For example, we have the hypervisor Proxmox in the meantime. That's the one, that's the deal. That's the one thing that's doing virtualization and CFS. That's great. So we have Univention, one of the best, one of the best replacements for Windows Server. Proxmox is based in Austria. Univention is based in Germany and there is Copeno, the, the group where it's based in Holland and in Germany as well. And we, we have Nextcloud from Germany. We have um, Zamat ticket system. We have CheckMK and lots of things. <laughs> and I think perhaps you do not know those, pro those products and what we are getting out of them. Amazing stuff is happening here on this channel. And if you're interested what happened the last two years, so stay online here. So we'll see. Um, there's basically a lot of great stuff here. And um, yeah, we are using it on any system at my customer. So it means almost every, and really any of my systems are on virtualization and based on CFS. There are only a little number of um, Windows servers. Yes, there are Windows machines for executing um, business programs, but when I can remove Windows and shit like this, I do it. I will talk about this. What we, we, we will make a review of the channel and then you can see what happened here in such a short time. But in the earlier years, I released one, two or three videos a year. And perhaps you met us on uh, CFS Rocks. That is the channel I will also release this uh, show today to pick you up. And some of those um, 
Let's have a look, a look on this channel. Um, we had, let, let me see, we had some English speaking, uh, which I tried to make some English CFS, uh, ZFS uh, videos on this. And let's see, pimp my Mac 700. But here, that's interesting. CFS rocks, oh, oh, 007, virtualization with Proxmox and CFS 22,000. Impact, none. This means, I made the effort to make this video, nothing happened. So, only little um, uh, some comments, but that's it. Let's see what happened here on Sysops TV. Good evening! What's here los? <laughs> In English, please. Um, what happened here? When the Corona lockdown happened also in Germany. Everybody was confused, frightened and needed some orientation. The world was not ready for the future. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so what I did, I picked up all this stuff I had. I have so many cameras and gear and yes, I was, I was a photographer. A photographer. I, I took a lot of pictures um, for um, pay shootings, uh, but mostly for uh, time for pictures, TFP shootings. I had a lot of great gear. For example, this is a small camera with a great lens, but it's getting dust here. It's just catching dust. So what I did, I decided to clear a, a room. Uh, put in a new floor, wooden floor, took this desk here, I can't see it because the mixer here is in the way, used, it was, this was a game changer, this, um, this Atom mixer here, this, this great Atom mixer, can you see it here, perhaps I can lift it a little, no, I can't, no, I'm losing it, oh, see, let's see, and, uh, also missed the recording, that's bullshit, so I have to I just press the recording button. So what? I will take the recording from YouTube then and relive it. The thing is, normally in earlier times, I try to prepare for a show and make makeup that you don't see the spots and hairs and um, I don't wear a hat yet today. My, my hair is crazy because and I have a, a small injury here. So I'm, I'm wearing a hat today. It's not usual here. And all the preparations in software. Get the Mac boot up, update your wire car software or whatever you're using and make the light and things like this. It's very important to have your setup ready. What we do now I come over from working in a small company for employees and um, we have about 400 systems we are working on all the time. Just press the power button, turn on the microphone, press online, forget the recording button like today and here we go. That's crazy. That's one of the game changers. Then we had the Corona lockdown. The people were confused and uh, tried to find new orientation. So if you have that plenty of time like in the lockdown and uh, if, if most of the people were done with, with Netflix and have all seen all the shows they're interested in, they ended up here because we had about 1200 um, subscribers here and they were happy if there would be a new video because they, they liked the show. But what I did, I turned on the light with my fixed setup and my gear. Horrible audio. Let me see, my camera is a little shaking here. Um, I said hello. This is Vlogger Logic. So in English, we will call it Vlogger's Logic because it's uh, more, makes more sense. It's, it's a German. It's a German joke. Vlogger logic is a, is, a, is a mixed joke, word joke. But what's it called if you are mixing up? We call it Schüttelreim in Germany. It means easy peasy, easy going, whatever. And so Vlogger's logic is not the worst. 
And then we 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 we, we, have, uh, we have a going live. Five days a week, I did a live show on YouTube. I had to lower the number of the shows because people were not able to sh to follow, even there was lockdown because they had family and other things to do. And we ended up in a really, really, really great, really great um, community, small community of hand-picked people. We don't have any rough comments or swear words, only swear words were from me. So there is a really, po we created a really polite and friendly, helpful community. And I try to explain where we are, I have no idea. Perhaps we will have a look at my, um, yeah, not very great homepage. And then we have a look at the, all the releases we did and all the videos we have done on this channel and perhaps the one or the other from you is can follow here today <laughs> only 20 today or usually tw uh, we have 50 or more to, to pick you up give you the hand and say hello to you come here come to our community the english channel and participate and um, win with us together it's awesome you will you will love it let's have a look this is my yeah, poor website that um, is linking the most of the projects we are doing here. Just at the front, the SysOps GmbH, my company, you can forget it. I'm here. It's everything about me. I have my helpers. That's great. There's no information you need on this website. What you need is here. The YouTube channel, SysOps.tv. I recommend you um, subscribe the channel, press a button at the bell, then you don't miss anything. And perhaps you try to follow the German show, even if it's hard. And if you like a topic, let me know. We will do an English version of it. Perhaps every week, every two weeks, we'll see. There's a second channel that's not filled a lot. Um, the problem is I have no time. I need someone to cut the videos and relive it on this channel, but we will continue here. What we, do, what we are doing is um, we have this great bouquet, bouquet selection of products. They're working so well together on open source based software. And we pick up the people means we are doing a lot of videos here to show how it works. But those shows we do here live come from the day. Means today I did a hum hub installation, it was great. I uh, did some Nextcloud, I locked out some people, and that's what I'm yeah, telling at the, uh, at, the, at the beginning. And then we have a great topic uh, that's related to the day or to the week. So this is no tutorial. Nothing is prepared. That's real life. So we have people, they only need a small amount of knowledge from here. Watch a video, get the inspiration, try it and succeed. We have some people, a lot of people, they are great, they are amazing people, great knowledge, helpful people. They are bringing code, tests, uh, innovation ideas to the show. And we have people without any chance to continue working in their job. And those we help here. So we picked everyone up. That means the people, the, the ideas and the demonstrations, live, real live demonstrations are here on the channel. The, um, the people who are at a good knowledge with um, similar interests and um, they are working for years with those tools. Uh, we call them partner. And we have people, they want to learn how to do this and to replace all this bullshit from earlier years. And for those, we are offering uh, one day workshops. More specifically, we have workshops. Uh, we don't, you don't call it workshop, this is lessons. We have lessons. Um, this is called lessons? I don't think so. The thing is, we have um, 
events you can book for a small amount of money, two times four hours, and then I'm explaining exactly what I found out the last 10 years how to handle the products. Proxmox, Univention, Copaino, ISP Config, oh, I forgot about it. So that's what we do. So you can learn this here and you can visit those events. So for example, you have an Univention course, um, you can repeat it for free and watch the videos uh, that often you like to. So the idea is to bring everybody on the same level and to go further. And that's already working. After one and a half years, we are proceeding. We're going forward. That's really great. In a, in a speed I can't, un I can't believe sometimes. Let's see where we came from. Ah, my chat was stuck a little. Let's see. Good evening from Steno and Christian. And we had a hello. We had just a hello. I just missed a hello. Hello. So let's see what we we will try have a look what we what we've done the last one and a half years. And at the first look, it doesn't yeah, it doesn't seem to be that much. We have oh that's a, that's the wrong channel here. Let's let's go to my channel here. The tech channel is also here. <laughs> so let's see what, what we have. Um, I have to enter the YouTube studio first and try to try to list all the streams and it's really confusing. At the, at the beginning it says it is uh, 536 um, videos, but this is not a correct, the correct number of videos, but it's a lot. And if you see, we have approximately 500 up to 2,000 viewers in the middle, so a little beyond 1,000. And that doesn't sound too much. But if you imagine that uh, something like an exhibition will take 10,000 euros for um, two hours or four hours of attention to some, some, you have to go there, you have to, to, to build it, you have to use per people running the show. That's not working. Thousand people working on this is great. And the thing is we have also a great chat with about 150 handpicked users. I come to them later. They wrote 50, 000, uh, about 50,000 messages the last years and found a new home there. That's really great. And I love it. I'm loving it. But let me see what, what, what happened. <coughs> I, go to, I go through there fast <coughs> and try to stop when it's interesting and look at this look at this the first thing was about education in it something about amazon something about licenses and all these ugly people trying to sell you something even if you don't need it we spoke about on-premise solutions and <laughs> obviously we talked about printer and telephone it people we call it it people we hate them. Also, we hate um, web programmers. They are ordering servers on Hetzner, something like this, and leave it as they was. <laughs> no idea selling stupid websites with uh, WordPress and never, never make any thoughts about security and backup <laughs> and things like this. So we hate these people. <laughs> Let's see what we what we still have. We have to go there through fast. Yeah, we have something about uh, laptops. We had something about Trunas when it was Trunas. The first look on Trunas. We spoke about internet backup, um, internet backup uh, providers. And then we had a great video about what's missing on Proxmos. And we had a talk about um, wasted infrastructure so if you have old switches hubs and things like this and then we tried the emergency so we say okay here it's emergency all data is gone we have to run a machine here and that's what we're really doing every month every second month uh, we are 
rescuing data with CFS and run it on another machine here or on site of the customer it was great. And then we had we had a, oh we had many talks about Exchange Server. That's not. Uh, we, we hate it in the meantime. It's a mess. We have to update. People have to update it. It's unsecure. And, and Microsoft's trying to force people to, to order the Office 365 uh, office. And then I will see if any customer will give to Office 365, you will lose because they will someday they will, they will, uh, there will be an Office 720. And from this point on, it's their customer, not yours. Yeah, we, we spoke a lot. I showed how do we make a small business server replacement with Univention and Copano and everything like this. Hardware recommendations we had, we have here, I have to go through faster, a lot of small business replacements. Going away from Microsoft, small business replacement, Raspberry Pi is a desktop, a desktop. yes, small, easy. We also have easy shows just for fun, of course. Um, we, we talked, we spoke about, um, oh, let me have some comment here. Uh, <laughs> just a little hint, Dr. Animem. If you want to sound like an Englishman, don't forget to nip on your gin tonic every now and then. Yes, you will see, my gin tonic is already here, um, but not today. This, this, would, be, this would be not uh, the best idea. Yeah, then we had 25 years of sysops, yes. And uh, then, it, uh, then it became interesting. CFS pull or push. If a CFS, you have a pull replication. For example, what we're doing here, we have computers, they're, sh they're starting, getting a CFS replication by a pull that's not available from the source system. And then it's shutting down, making a great report. So this is almost undestroyable. Now what, what, do, what do we have else? We have something about reporting. So, Jin is not con compatible with Chris English speaking, yes. You know. uh, remote and co. So what, what do we have here? Small business replacement. We have so many small business replacement. Uh, we have something about ransomware. We have ZFS by GUI. And then we had, then we had the Matrix chat on 2020. That was really funny because uh, I just sent an invitation, and that's what, that's what I will do today. I sent an invitation to my friends and told them, here, there's a um, Matrix chat, and you can, can have your own account on matrix.org. And here's the invitation, and now we have 165 handpicked, oh, sorry, 165 selected a person here. Um, I think there's uh, always more than the half active here. They wrote hundreds, thousands, fifty thousand of, of news and uh, yes, they shared great ideas and helped each other, uh, especially on, on hard days when we have the J log and things like this. Um, yes, they were very helpful and um, if someone is in, in struggle here, there's always help from this great people and uh, you see it on live. So what I like to do is uh, we try this with our English people. Here is the new, here's the new room. And I also will invite you to this room. But wh what I found out here, I will, I will share, the, share this in the show notes here. What I found is that if you don't have, if you don't already have a matrix.org or your own server account, uh, this account will be created on my server, but uh, it's okay for me as long you are a great person and you are polite and interested and so here we go. You can use it here. We spoke about reverse proxy, engines proxy manager. We spoke about OPN Sense and found some great friend in, in uh, Flow that make a lot of shows with me replacing software products to uh, OPN Sense. We, talk, we talked about the annoying licenses and uh, salespersons that you don't, I don't want to deal with them. I don't like them. I don't like salespersons and license dealers. I don't like them. Really, it's, it's horrible to me. I don't want it. And the more I replace with open source based software, the more um, I can choose 
to contact them. For example, I can use um, a Proxmox server or Univention server for free, as long as I'm using the community edition. So I don't have to ask for it. I can use it immediately. I don't have to pay for it. So if I like it and if I like to support or like I need their support, I can choose whenever I want to contact them, buy a subscription and get help or support them. That's my decision. Now other products I have to beg for demo versions and things like this and have to uh, submit my customer data only to test the product and I don't think this is acceptable so I'm jinxing this. I don't, I don't like it. So let's see. What did we do? Cloud is evil. Cloud is evil. As long as it's not your cloud. So this is cloud is böse in German uh, also. What I did is cloud is evil.com and .de and you're also landing on the Sysops TV project side. Cloud is evil. We come back to this later, my friends. Um, yeah, then we spoke about um, removing Trojans and uh, Trojans and um, viruses by ZFS. That's my opinion. Run your own cloud by Christian. So that means if you have a if you have a um, what's it called malware addicted? No, it's not addicted. What's it called? If if you have infected system or compromised system, you can normally restore backup. So the problem is you have to restore backup, you need the time, you need the space and of course you have to know what exact point is to, to restore and this is, could take you weeks. On ZFS you have a big advantage, you can make a clone. You can make a clone, you can boot up this clone. If you are feel happy with this clone, you can make it productive by promoting it. So what's happening is the old clone, or the old uh, snapshot, whatever, uh, is becoming a clone. So the productive is become it becomes a clone. That means so what's here? Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> um, what this means you can. It's working like this. You have to you have the infection. You you are watching. You have a look. What is the amount of data change in a specific time? You say okay. Uh, it started tonight at 3 o'clock, so let's go back to midnight. And we will take this one pro productive now. So, perhaps you can see what machine was um, uh, encrypting the data, and you can, you can switch it off, turn it off, and whatever. So, the next thing is you want to go fast live. So, say, 1 o'clock clone is working, Midnight's working, okay, for, for safe, midnight. But then you have the replica and you have the, the old clone that formerly was productive. What you can do now is this one, this is turned off. You can run a disinfect disk from Heiser, from, for example, and can find those viruses and infect the data. And you can see if there is um, a known virus or something like this. And you can check this today, but you also can check this two weeks ahead. And then you can compare the found viruses with a live system you also can make a clone of. And it saves a lot of money. It means you can have any, you can, you can have any data live booting without any waiting time on ZFS. That's awesome. Just to get an idea what we are doing here. Um, but we will show if you are interested in that. So then we have Proxmox backup server that was new. And we have the Nesbury, the Nesbury project. That's just to mention it for a second. You found it here. This is a great project. So if you already have, uh, let me see, if you already have a Raspberry Pi, or you can still get one, this gimbal is a little crazy today. Um, if you have a Raspberry Pi, or you have a chance to get a Raspberry Pi 4 or 400, um, have a look at this project. This gimbal is driving me crazy. Let me let me have a small control of this gimbal. This is make some sick. It's making some sick noises here. This is a um, gimbal from DJI. That's called Ronin SE, and we have full frame cameras here, so they have their own way. 
and we have to perhaps it's helping if I'm turning it a little to this yes perhaps we'll see if this is working better so again if you're a Raspberry Pi take it take a SD card <coughs> Take SD card, uh, install at the moment it's still Ubuntu on it, and run two commands. Connect connect uh, two disks to uh, SSDs or two disks, and you will get a mirrored CFS rate. You will get the ability to. You have auto snapshots for three months in the past, and you can then select from a really great selection of snapshots and just restore files from this and you have a great CFS GUI in a web browser. So if you want to find out, if you want to learn CFS, here we are, nasberry.de. Don't be afraid about the DE domain, it's not your enemy. So what do we have here? Gin tonic feels better because when you speak about window shit, yes, <laughs> yes, uh, <coughs> let's see my neck is a little, so let, what, what do we have here, gin tonic feel, makes feel better because when you speak about window shit, yes, yeah, we will show this up, so breaking news, yes, in your, run your own premise cloud, don't pay for not safety enterprise, bullshit. That's exactly what I'm telling. So let's see what we what we had else. We had so many shows. Yes, we have to save power with wake on LAN and, and, and add security. So a system that's turned off all the day, you can't attack it. Quite simple. We spoke about a great German Zamet ticket system. We spoke about open SIN client, German company, means you can boot Windows, <laughs> you can boot uh, physical machines out of network with remote desktop. We spoke about CFS on SATAR and uh, USB. We spoke about turn servers, pie hole. Um, yeah, and then we, we put our script collections to GitHub. The most important, what you have to see is github.com slash bash club. You have, if you are addicted to Broxmox and CFS, you, you have to go here. Anyway, you have to go here. There's no there's no argument not to go there. So then what we do we have here? We spoke about the ProLiant, uh, it's a very simple, cheap uh, software here. So I have some comments here. We have the comments, they are important here. Dr. Animem, just a side note, but uh, do you see how, the, how good the camera is? You can still very distinguish between the white background and the white cap, great lenses and great microphones. Yes, but this, not, this was, not for, was not for free. I paid a lot of time to, to find a setup that's really working. And um, I, I did a show about all the, the stuff you have to handle with, with the color balance and microphone and avoiding noise and equipment. Oh, no, it's horrible. Don't, don't, don't get me started. Don't get me started on this. So you have to go to github.com slash bashclub to follow up. So then, then it became very interesting. We started. So here we did um, a show about our portfolio, it's, uh, our, our product selection, and we realized what a great, amazing selection of, of software we have in combination, and it's working. And um, what I deliver is experience for almost 10 years with it. Um, we have recommendations for migrating the data, for um, driving the product, was it, for running the products, uh, what's it called, it's um, for operating the, pro yeah, op operating the products, backup-upping, up restoring, and also monitoring. That's great stuff. It's all here on this show. We did so many things. It's crazy. One and a half years. We spoke about here from my fr friend Janus, MailPiler, open source, Mail archive, it's great, but it's horrible. It's horrible to install. You will see, but we have on GitHub Bash Club a great script to get it installed in minutes. <laughs> of course, then we had a great New Year party. Uh, we drank a lot. We were in the dark net, and we crashed a drone, repaired pinball machines. So this was a great one here. Microserver Proxmox. Yeah. Then we talked about 
We spoke about Proxmox as an NFS server and to... <laughs> okay, Thorsten. Um, we talked about Proxmox as an NFS server. Because if you have a Proxmox server, you also have a NAS system. You have a free NAS system in minutes and how easy it is. And exactly what we showed here with the DL20 and the NFS solution, it's still working great. We found out that you can be your own NFS and server and client at the same time on CFS without almost no um, loss of performance. It's great enjoy it it's great yeah, we spoke about raspberry 400 and yeah that i don't like the software's utm anymore because of the license and the partner policy of the company we flamed you know host we didn't like it and we had workshops here um we had mail piler we have sps replacement <laughs> classic and uh, then something happened i showed up my own uh, file server and i wanted it always on directly on cfs for the capability to restore that a user can restore his own files without um, bothering an administrator and was not easy so i tried to figure out how to run a samba server on proxmox with the second data set to restore the data from and started on open media vault built everything together, made it running, tried it on some customers, and then the great audience here, Thorsten and uh, Markus, made a great installer, and we called it Zamba, with a Z at the beginning. And you also can find it on GitHub slash Bashclub. means you can have the world best, world best, no, no kidding, file server in minutes that's just taking 100 megabytes of RAM with CFS, auto snapshots, um, Active Directory connectivity in five minutes without any effort and you can find it here on Bash Club. Then I talked about being self-employed. Um, we talked about live. Oh, we get some trouble on this here. We had a customer with a crash database, so we covered it live in the show. We had um, we had here collaboration with LDIP. So when we try to connect the partners here, uh, we try to figure out how to how to collect the people and to keep in touch and to contact them. Uh, all the password problem because we did not know what products we going to use. For example, we did not find a really good forum because no forum was uh, able to um, was not able to handle with LDAP. Uh, for example, if you have the PHP uh, forums, uh, the PHP BB forums, um, you can use LDAP. And, and it's uh, checking your login, but for example, your email address, you can't change. So it's only collecting on the first login and not later. Um, we tried uh, forums on WordPress. The people don't like that we are using Moodle for our uh, classes, and uh, but there the forums and the wiki wasn't any good. So we collected all the people, our partners in LDAP, um, in an LDIP uh, directory. So we were able to replace the products and try out many, many tools. And we kept the, the wiki, we kept the Moodle, and we, ca we started with HumHub for the partners. They I think they like it. And we tr also tried HumHub for the audience here. But um, I think that the, those people, they are interested to talk to each other, they, we found them on Matrix Chat, where we don't have a LDAP connectivity, by the way. So, mm, that's great. Yeah, then we Moodle for the classes. We had um, Proxmox cluster examples. We had, uh, oh, that's pretty interesting. Um, we have, we are great friends of taking over Active Directories with Univention Corporate Server, but Obviously, I'm interested in going away from Univention someday if it's not working anymore. For this time, we have a great time with Univention. And, but if you, are, if you have a directory with a, that 
great importance. You want to know if you can go away. And we really found out you, there's a great way to go uh, to Univention, uh, especially with a takeover feature from Univention, but you can easily take your Active Directory back to Windows Server. That's interesting and this is, um, to be honest, important uh, how, uh, what do you think, what, what is nachhaltig on English? What's the word for it? I, I don't get it. Perhaps you can write it in comments. It's important to me to have my data under control and have the free selection of the product I'm using and not be forced to stay at the product. Like SharePoint in earlier days, uh, we were not able to go away anymore. So then what, what do we have, uh, have else? We have, let's see, backup, backup, backup. So we had a uh, cram group where that's not, we're not sure what, what this is leading to. It seems to be a theft from Copano, but I'm neutral at this point. Um, we have a Gorum. This is a great content system. We have, oh, of course, and we have Check MK. This is a Nagios based German, um, a German monitoring system. I love the most. I have this uh, for, I think, about for five years when I was not that comfortable with Linux and I found very easy into it. And it's saving so much time. And in the meantime, we even have monitoring for Nextcloud installations and we have a very perfect monitoring for ZFS replications from Niels. Means I have about 600 replications inside i can see it if it's working or not and it's awesome 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 so chris fox says hi and thumbs up for your first english broadcast it's not my first i don't it's, it's the first live thumbs up down up <laughs> it's great <laughs> thank you chris for this um here it here here it was ah no it's on my ipad let's see what we did we had net server we didn't like it to, to short, long story short, OPN Sense, we have great OPN Sense video replacing this. Um, ah, sustainable, yes. We, we, want, we want sustainable solutions. Uh, you can really um, relay on and you can invest, you can invest time and don't lose money and time with it. We spoke about small sins, so if you're doing something wrong that you have to pay for it someday, we have the workshops. Then we had something about single board computers, we have the Nasberry, we have Copano One first look. Uh, that one didn't went live because of a replacement of the leader, leadership of the company. OPN Sense, again, that were all live shows about one up to two hours or long sometimes longer uh, we spoke a lot about we spoke a lot about yes you have zfs for entries for beginners we have cmk workshops for beginners we have email <laughs> that was pretty interesting we sent our emails to a sharepoint server and tried to uh, remove this and tried it with copano we ended up for this on um, check MK with a Niels script, but at this point, just one year ago, I had to verify my CFS replications on um, uh, on mail based, and we had to verify if mails arrive or not, and things like this. We handled about this here. Um, what did we have here? We had something about catastrophes. We have a lot of Proxmox, and we spoke. Of course, we spo spoke about the Alexi toolbox. This is quite simple. Long story short, you have Proxmox, you have CFS. You download it, you fill out a small text document, and then you can install a best file server, domain controller, a next cloud, the mail piler, the um, whatever it's inside. And you have a perfect, small, uh, sustainable <laughs> installation. You can take care for yourself after it after you installed it and it's really really great it's my best recommendation here yeah hello to marcus here as well we don't have that many many viewers today and we even lost some but i don't care shit about it because i want to welcome all the european american asian whatever african people to join us here in the future so this will uh, need some time to be found and if there is a 
a small amount of, uh, of people say if we have 20, 30 interested people, we will do this more often to develop the English channel here. Most important is the German, of course. Um, yeah, we spoke why, why we did, do we use Univention Corporate Server? Because it's the most sustainable. It's, it's a great product. It is the world best Windows replacement server here. And we have it and we are partner of it. And I'm proud of it. Um, CFS, CFS. Uh, we had some talk about Proxmox 6. In the meantime, we are on 7 workshops. I had an accident. And um, Matthias ans uh, is asking in German if this is serious. What? We spoke about CFS performance. We spoke about remote desktops. We spoke about data loss. We spoke about, let's see, we had a bit of workshops, workshops, Proxmox workshops, <laughs> workshops when we, when we have lessons here. We, no, we, can, we, can, we spoke about what's missing on Zamba file server. Uh, we spoke about that's no need to be without backup anymore because of pull replication in CFS. If you want to backup, if you're on CFS, there's no reason to lose data. You don't have to. Um, here we spoke why people don't have a backup, and we spoke about ISP config on a workshop. When I mean workshop, I mean the lessons. Um, we, spoke uh, we spoke about small servers, and we um, were talking about how maintain uh, Proxmox servers. That's great. You can just use CheckMK. <coughs> you can have a plugin. Just use the standard plugin. Perhaps you, you are using our plugin for uh, watching CFS replications. And then here we go. Perfect monitoring. And you will never lose uh, any replication. Means this system is faultproof. You don't miss any replication because this monitoring exactly shows you uh, if you are forgot a replication or backup, that's great. Um, what do what would we have else? We have, uh, <laughs> we had a day where five rates were broken at one day. That's a really record. And oh, we spoke about ZFS overhead. That means the default setup on Proxmox is um, not perfect. If you are using a kind of rate five, or rate six, it's called rate C as uh, one or C two. You can have an overhead of 100%, means you have the half of the speed, uh, twice of the uh, data amount you are wasting. And uh, yeah, we explained how to, handle, how to handle with it. So what did we have last? When, when were we are here? We are on, in the meantime, we are on what date here? This is crazy. Yeah, we are about yeah, nine months ago here. Yeah, we had pull replications, push replications, handling after Trojan attack, uh, so many projects, replication. Um, yeah, that's what we showed here. We had this ready data CFS stories from customer and we showed how to migrate without any uh, reasonable interruption of work here. Who is afraid from the Hungry Wolf and retro games with Mr. FPGA nobody cared about? We had a great party here. You have no idea how great this party was here. This was the best party I had ever. It uh, was a great, I promised if Corona is gone or if it's possible, we will have a party for all the participants and uh, let's see. Is this the live stream? Ah, this is the live stream, not the show. And we had a crate. That's not the one I was looking for. We'll see it soon. Um, oh, I missed the, the link here. Let's see where we are here. CFS rocks. Now I have to go back to the videos. No, that's not the one I was looking for. Give me one second, please. I have to go to back to my, where it is. Here, YouTube Studio, YouTube Studio. That's the problem when you miss the click. Only to get an idea, only to get an idea what we're doing here. So let's go <coughs> back to the 
bring this to an end. What did we have else? We have workshops, Univention Corporate Server 5, we had a great party, we had the the great open source uh, uh, opportunities, we have more workshops, we had, we had a look at ClearS and uh, after five years of Univention it was really disappointing and with a uh, with a closer look we found out that it was really the better idea to go with Univention here. We had a great video uh, on Seth with Marco Gabriel um, for scaling Proxmox environments, not our typical viewers. We have exchange patch discussions, we have workshops, we ended 21, we had ISP config, we, uh, this is a great replacement for Plesk and configs. We have English for runaways, yes. <laughs> um, we had the discussion how hard it was to go to Proxmox because, uh, not kidding, every open source pr uh, product has so many missing buttons and you can find them here on this channel. What did we have else? We have uh, Proxmox productive, running productive on CFS. Some more lessons on CFS. That's the most recent videos here. Workshop back. Truna scale. Very interesting. Very interesting because uh, Truna's formerly was running on BSD and now they are migrating to um, Debian. And Debian, 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 I think it's Debian. Um, is our favorite Linux distribution because we have it on Proxmox, we have it on Univention, we have it on our own file server and so many more. And now it's coming on our favorite uh, network attached storage and storage area network. That's really great news and we tried it and we were very happy with it. We spoke about open exchange, very interesting. And we had some more recommendations on hardware, we had some webcam solutions, uh, replacing local CFS to iSCSI and uh, the question is, is open source more uh, sustainable? We had the discussions, uh, backups and uh, workshop for um, Trojan and virus safe backups and now we are speaking about if someone can cancel your, ex your financial existence, because if a country is cutting your service, you have, just imagine you have a German company and your, your service is in Russia or, the, or other or vice versa and uh, one country is cutting. So in two years Trump's back, he doesn't like the Germans because they were supporting the Ukraines. We have no idea. Uh, Office 365 is stopped in minutes. So that's topics we were talking about. Um, and we, we spoke about, we were talking about uh, automatic updates, we were talking about, um, we, we had a look about if Univention as a directory service and a Nextcloud can replace a group where if it's possible or not. We had a look on uh, Ansible and we had um, Yes, we have this today and so many much. It's just to get an idea what we were dealing with and I wonder if I think we have this great products here from our environment and this great people and I think we have great people in Italy, in France, in Holland, in Denmark, in Finland, in Russia, even in, in Ukraine, perhaps someday again in America and all my friends in England. They will hate this language, okay, not bad luck to you. But I think we have great people all around the world and we have great products and great ideas here. We are the best community on open source worldwide. We have the best file server and the best people. And yeah, this is my invitation to you, my friends, to come over on Sysops TV. So I will... Uh, put this video on uh, the CFS Rocks channel later, uh, as soon as I can download this because I missed the recording here. I will put this on uh, some selected social media like, uh, what is this called? I forgot it always. <laughs> on 
a small number of selected um, channels. Perhaps I will push it to find the right people here. The invitation to the English to the English speaking community on the Matrix channel you can find in the show notes. It is let's see make that's great. Julian Brick City is telling make Bash Club great again. It was always the greatest. Uh, Marcus Goebbels writes the party was great. It was a great event with great people. This community is the best. And that's that's seriously it's true. Uh, so again, you will find the you will find a link to the community uh, here. It is you will find a, a link to the community here uh, in the show notes. Means if you click it, you can create. A, if you already have on Ma if you don't want an, an account on my server, go to Matrix.org first and. Click a known account, or you can use on github.com slash bashclub the LXD toolbox, and then you can have your own matrix server, uh, or you can do this later and uh, join this community here. Let's have a look if we found some new uh, people on this channel. Is this stuck again? Is this bastard stuck again? It works. I have no idea. I have some trouble with this client on this machine here, on this Apple Silicon machine. Ah, here we are. That's working. Means if you click this, you can continue, register your account and come over and use the element client to talk each other. Um, let's see, what do we have else? Any to my, to my German friends today? Um, any ideas, any recommendations, any feedback, you're welcome because we only have today, we have only the German audience and of course we don't have any, any others because they wouldn't find, simply wouldn't find us. So what do you think? Is this a great opportunity to invite all these people to another show that's not that much often, but to have new, new friends and new innovation and to pick up, of course, new customers for my company? What do you think? Write it in the comments. So, as long as we are waiting for the comments, I can just have another look at the Bash Club community site. Zamba Toolbox, great installer on Proxmox for all this great stuff on Linux containers. This is the perfect ZFS Proxmox post install script, the check replication, what I was talking about. Monitoring. Let's let's have the entire repository here. So, um, check MK OPN sense uh, here. Bash Club ZFS push and pull crate. Check Nextcloud from Torsten. Check ZFS replication from uh, Niels. The Proxmox post installer. Check MK from Matrix notification. ZFS housekeeping. That means if you have um, a crazy constellation on snapshots, we had last last we had 350k of snapshots to delete. So this is the great script you want to have of Mailpiler uh, install script. I I'm not sure what is is still valid because it's in the LXC toolbox and some great stuff more. So, because we have only a small number of viewers today, there are no comments if this would be a great idea or not. So, we will come to an end today and say thank you for the German audience today to support this show and not leaving me alone talking about all this stuff. And we'll see what this is, yeah, where we are going to and uh, where this is what impact this idea to make another English small community interested in our jobs again. So if you are IT professional and want to replace Windows and make more sustainable um, solutions, come here, stay here, have fun. So good night, food fight by Christian. I'm curious if this is working. My Name is Chris, and as always, at the end, I give you a stupid smile at the end of the show, and then we will go out and have some great things happening, food, sex, dog walk, whatever you like to 
My name is Christian. Have a good day. Stay tuned. Set a subscription on the channel. Write to the comments. Ring the bell. And goodbye.